Guys, Geeky Guy Comics here. Now, as always, it's another week, and that means it's another unboxing video for your viewing pleasure. If you like Marvel and you like your unboxings, stay tuned. <laughs> So as I just mentioned, it's another week, another unboxing, another mystery box. Geeky Guy Comics absolutely love these. I really do love doing them. This time round, it's from PVT. You can follow them on Instagram. The link is right about there now. Official Pop Vinyl Toys. They do some fantastic mystery boxes. Last week, in not last week, a couple of weeks ago in season two, it was Disney themed. Um, it was okay. I got three pops. One of them was Mr. Bean. One of them was a, a Chrome Rat Fink. And one of them was Rapunzel. So, yep, yeah, it was Disney themed. I managed to get one Disney out of three pops. So it wasn't too bad. So that's kind of like a hit. This time round, I'm not that... I am very skeptical about getting a hit if I'm honest because I've seen uh, some winners that have got some seriously seriously big hits on season 3 which is Marvel themed one of my uh, favourite themes that I was looking forward to so I definitely jumped on this I managed to pick my own numbers because I got a card given in season 2 that said I can pick my own number of the boxes I've gone with my favourite numbers number 7 and number 23 so without further ado let's see if I got a hit or a miss I'm probably going to get a miss if I'm honest Got my mate here, let's cut them open and find out. It says fragile on the box, so who knows, I could be in with a with a decent pop. As I mentioned, I've seen some, some pretty big winners over on Instagram as of late. So I'm not, I haven't got my fingers crossed that much. But who knows, I might, I might have got it all wrong. There might have been one hit that hasn't been claimed yet. But let's have a look. It's very, very well, very well wrapped. So I'm just going to try and get into this as well as I can. As mentioned, Pop Vinyl Toys, they are a splendid bunch of guys, they're over on Instagram and they're absolutely killing it at the moment, I think they've just recently reached 600 followers, so yeah, definitely check them out if you haven't done already. There we go, box number 23, box number 7, that seems pretty hard if I'm me, that's in a, uh, seems to be in a pop protector. And this is a pop that I thought, oh, do you know what, I might as well get it, it was only £5. And it is, it was a damaged pop, and it's a limited edition one, and it is Chuckles the Clown. So once I've done this, I will be getting back to it. Oh, and as always, I love a little touch. Popping candy, and a Chubba Chum. Who don't love a Chubba Chum? So anyway, I picked my own numbers. I'm going to go with number seven first. It feels pretty heavy, so I'm just going to jump straight into this. Their boxing is so good, like with some mystery boxes, they literally just wrap it in bubble wrap and you can see what the pop is before you've even opened it. This, you've got the bubble wrap, you've got the brown paper, so it's just the added element of surprise, isn't it? It's like the suspense is killing me. <laughs> right, let's have a look. Oh, right. I'm not even gonna see this. Right, so I'll open it from the bottom. So ready, on three. One, two, three. Oh, get in, who is that Black Panther? Exclusive Marvel Collectors Corp. Right, <laughs> I'm well happy with this. I honestly, I really wasn't expecting a hit um, because I'd seen so many over on Instagram. But this, look, and this is a glow in the dark one. This is definitely, definitely a, a hit for me. This is the first Black Panther pop I've got. And I'll tell you what, I have seen this over on the internet and I've seen it on YouTube and I've seen it on Instagram and stuff. And the glow on this is superb. This is the this is the collector's court one. It's from Double Box Toys, prop protection. This looks wicked. PVT, I'm well happy with that. Fifteen pounds um, is is a pop. Four pound uh, postage and packaging. The price of what this one is worth will be over right about now. I'm well happy with that. I'm 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 more happy than I thought I was going to be from this uh, from this hit or miss. Can it get better? Right, that was number one. I'm happy with that. If, if I get one out of two as a hit, that ain't bad. That ain't bad. It's a 50-50 odd. So what number we got? Uh, yeah, number 23 coming up next. My two favourite numbers. Right, I'm just going to literally look at the camera. I'm not even going to see what it is. Right, here. Right, let's get into this. Right, right. On three. One, two, three. Who's that? What is this? David Levison, Independence Day. It's a standard pop, nothing special about it. It's a decent looking pop though, to be fair. Independence Day, this is the first Independence Day pop I've got. 
so the price of that is on your screen right about now i'm not really sure if it's a hit or a miss because i uh, i will look on the pop directory but we will see it there and about i definitely think that one is worth more than 15 pounds and I, that, that one that looks like a 9.99 pop to me i could be wrong but as i mentioned it's on the screen there and this one i'm well happy with this one i'm really i'm over the moon with this i'm gonna get this one out of the box um yeah why not but yeah like hit or miss 15 pound uh 15 pound a pot four pound post and packaging i managed to pick my own boxes this time so massive thanks to pvt for that he's a decent looking pop as always as geeky guy comics always does open your pops from the bottom so you don't damage the box and if you do shh, no one knows got to say it's a decent looking pop this one yeah i'm loving this this is definitely a hit for me this is definitely a hit i'm happy with that look at that look at the glow on that the glow is going to be sublime on that i'll tell you the glow is going to be all of this i'm not sure if his eyes light up though but that is definitely a hit i mean i could be totally wrong and it could be like a 9.99 pop but i don't think it is i think this is a is it is from the um marvel collector's court and i think pops range from there for about 15 to 22 pounds so He's a decent looking pot, that one. And what we got next? We have got David Levinson. I don't really know much about Independence Day. This is the first pop I've received. Uh, as I do with all my pops, I do keep them, so I don't, I don't, um, I don't flip them on eBay or anything. But I mean, look, he's a decent looking pot. Don't really know who he is. He's from the uh, Independence Day Resurgence, so. He's a decent looking pot. There's nothing wrong with him. He looks all right. I'm not sure if it's a hit or a miss. I don't really collect the Independence Day, as I mentioned, it's the first one I've received, so I'm going to put it down as a mid-hit. Let's go with a mid-hit. It's not a full hit like Black Panther. This is like a mid-hit. But, yeah, I can't moan. And as an added little bonus, it's like a tw this is a £20 pop, and I managed to get it for a fiver because the box is damaged. So in my eyes, I've received three pops. Two of them were from the, uh, the hit or miss. But, I mean, look. It's Chuckles the Clown. Who don't love Chuckles from Toy Story? Yeah, I mean, I can't really remember what was damaged with this box. I think it was just like a little scratch there, but... Look, I mean, the way hit or miss boxes go, it's, it's a hit or a miss. If, as uh, as always, if you, if, you, if you enter a hit or miss box and you're searching for one pop, the likelihood is you're going to come out of it gutted. Uh, hit or miss... 15 pound from PVT. Check them out over on Instagram. Their page info's there now. They're, they're fantastic. They're always on call. If you've got a problem, one of your pops, or you've got an issue, or you want to know anything, honestly, they get back to you like that. Great bunch of guys. Um, yeah, and if you, like my only advice is if you're going searching for one specific pop on a hit or miss, nine times out of ten you're going to be gutted. I mean, I knew it was Marvel, so I'm bang happy with that. That's wicked. Like, and, like, David Levinson, his Independence Day is the first one I've got. I will keep him. He ain't gonna, he ain't gonna get a, a hot spot uh, on my shelf. This one will do, because he, he's a badass. Look at him, man. I can't wait to see the glow on that, and I will put up a separate picture and video of that. But, guys, official Pop Toys over on Instagram. Check them out. Massive congratulations to them. They've only started a couple of months ago, and they're already on 600 followers. So, if you, if you can, check them out now. And, as always... Make sure you hit the subscribe, like and share button. I think it's normally about there. Yeah, make sure you hit the subscribe, like and share button. There's also a notification bell on that one as well. It really does help me out. I've just recently hit 250 followers over on YouTube. And that's a massive thanks to everyone that likes my content I'm putting out. Little old me from South East London, Geeky Guy Comics. To think that 250 people like my content, enjoy watching my content, is absolutely amazing. It might be a tiny little... Um, might be a tiny little um what, what they call it might be a tiny little uh milestone for some people for me it's absolutely massive the fact that 250 people 250 of you watching this now enjoying my content means the world to me it's very very much appreciated stick with me we've got loads more coming up from geek guy comics we've got comics we've got reviews we've got funko pop giveaways we've got everything as always it's been fantastic that's it from me that's it from these guys and as always if i don't see you for a week i'll see you through the geeky guy window <laughs>